Hi friends, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jay, and today I wanted to talk about items that you can make yourself at home so that you don't have to buy them from the grocery store. As we all know, the prices in the grocery stores are increasing exponentially. It's getting ridiculous. I mean, I'm going grocery shopping every two weeks and I'm keeping it real small. I'm really trying to meal plan down to the penny and keep it as cost efficient as possible. And still things like bread and cheese and meat, eggs, milk even, things are getting so expensive. Even just the basic staples that are hard to avoid are getting so expensive. And so I've really been trying to do some research and figure out what items I can completely stop buying from the grocery store. Because there are certain items that you can buy in large quantities like flour, sugar, salt, oil, and when you buy them in large quantities, often the cost is lower. And a lot of these things that we're gonna talk about have common elements like that, that will make it easier for you to make these items from scratch. Because let's be honest, I'm not, and I know many of you are not in the position to completely source all of your own stuff, like oils and flours and sugars. I still have to purchase them from somewhere, right? And so if I'm gonna buy stuff from the grocery store, I'd much rather it be these broken down main elements than their um, processed counterparts. So in making these own items yourself, not only are you cutting down your costs of what you're spending at the grocery store, but you're also taking control of your ingredients as well. So I just wanna go down the list here and name off the items. These are items that I have handpicked because trust me, there are so many more than these, but these are the ones that I think would be completely achievable for just the average person. I'm a first year homesteader. I've not been doing this a long time. I don't have a ton of experience and there are some really complicated things out there that you could tackle, but these are very basic starter level things that you could make yourself. So I'm just gonna run down the list and then I can kind of talk further about some of these after, but um, we've got bread, sandwich bread, garlic bread, bread crumbs, pizza dough, pie crust, granola bars, cookies, brown sugar, powdered sugar, vanilla extract, baking mixes, hot chocolate, chocolate sauce, peanut butter, sweetened condensed milk, whipped cream, mayonnaise, salad dressings, barbecue sauce, seasoning mixes such as taco seasoning, chili seasoning, etc., vegetable stock. I've got on here shred your own cheese. I know I'm not making my own cheeses. I still have to buy those from the store, but buying them in the block and shredding them yourself is a lot cheaper. And then for non-food items, we have an all-purpose cleaner, a toilet cleaner, laundry detergent, and dog treats. For several of these items, I already have videos up for them. Like I've got my vanilla extract right here. I've already had a video up for pizza dough, for baking mixes and hot chocolate mix whipped cream, but there are several of these that I have never made before. Admittedly, I've never made my own pie crust. I've never made mayonnaise or salad dressings. The non-food items, I've never made any of those before, but they're very doable. There are recipes all over the internet for them. They're all over Pinterest. There's a lot of videos already out for them. So the resources are broad for these, and that's why I included specifically these items because they're, they're doable. You can, you can make these yourself. And if you're, all of these items that I've listed here, if you can scratch those off your grocery list, like I said, not only are you cutting down cost at the grocery store, but you're also taking control of the ingredients that are in these. And you're gonna end up with a product that's a lot wholer and have less ingredients and less preservatives than the store-bought counterpart. So for the items that I don't already have videos for, I'm going to be making videos of them. So if you want to follow along, I just kind of wanted to introduce this idea that you can make these items yourself. All of the videos that already exist, I'm gonna link them down in the description, but over the next few weeks, I'm going to be making videos for all of these items so that if you want to take this exact list and make all of these yourself from scratch, you will have the resources and the tools that you need to do that. And once you've conquered this list of really basic beginner level homemade items, you're gonna have the confidence that you need to tackle even more complicated things. So, and I feel that way for myself as well. That, that goes for me too. So I challenge you, come on this journey with me. Let's start making these items from scratch at home. Let's keep the money in our pockets and out of the grocery store pockets. And let's start making these really common 
always in your fridge or always in your covered items, let's start making them with whole ingredients, without the preservatives, without the food coloring, without the, the items that really are not necessary and let's start taking control of our food together. So you guys, thanks for hanging out with me. I just kind of wanted to introduce this idea and encourage you. And so I can't wait to see you in my next video where we talk about one of these items. So I'll see you then. Be blessed guys, bye.